second day Saskatchewan hunt. I got bucks out in front of me with those. Try and pick them up, they're pretty far out still, about 600 yards. Right there. first light so anytime they could come in. Hopefully they make their way this way and I can get a shot at that buck. They were just fighting two bucks for that doe. Racks hitting it was pretty cool. Hopefully they come this way. That's one buck. That's another buck. It's a white-tailed buck with a white-tailed doe, and that's actually a mule deer. It was a mule deer buck and a white-tailed buck fighting. Pretty cool. No wonder we got white-tailed buck. Our mule deer antlers on white tails. Pretty cool. Here they come. Oh well, blown out. They took off and went the other direction. I could have shot him there. He was fairly close. He was probably at about 100 yards or so, but he didn't look like the biggest buck, I have to say. He's a very nice buck. He was outside the ears and fairly high, but he was nice dark antlers, so I like that. Wide, had nice brow tones, not real tall, but half decent. And it looked like he won the fight with the meal there, so that was kind of neat, but uh, too bad it was so dark I couldn't video it. It would have been terrible anyways, because it was through all the branch of trees, so. 
Not much you can do in a situation like that, but it was interesting to watch. But now Mark's walked down into the bottom and Ian's walked over there. Eric's walked up here, so it's enough of that action. I'm climbing down from the tree. Nothing out here, nothing going on, so maybe I'll go try and find a place to put up my trail cam, eh? <laughs> Better luck tonight or this afternoon or later this morning even, maybe. <laughs> that hurt. More deer coming up next. 